Okay, so uh, I just want to respond to some questions people were asking uh, ever since I came back from this uh, trip I did with my 407 uh, Coupe V6 Mama. So they were like, uh, what's the best car for that kind of uh, journey or road trip, especially in that part of uh, the country? That's the uh, eastern part of Nigeria, if you are going from the north. So, and uh, it makes sense because, um, you know, much as I always say, oh, they are, you know, I uh, use this for road traveling, but that particular road, I mean, um, it's bad, it's very bad. So, um, it's better I just share my experience and recommend. So, yes, um, after. After a joke, uh, I mean, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. Not necessarily immediately after a joke, uh, you know, there's a bypass. In fact, around that to two, back to Ubola. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, yes, I would say 407, no, that's not the best car for it. Oh, before I continue, meanwhile, I'm inside my 505 V6 manual. Uh, I just bought it to. Uh, the mechanic I normally work with uh, uh, the car, so um, I asked him to remove the rear differential and put back um, the current one on the car is 935, that's 3.88. Uh, but the one I want to put back was uh, uh, is uh, 9 times 37, that's uh, 4.11. So that's what I'm putting back. That's the one that has a uh, shorter gear ratios. Uh, I just want the current one is very good, uh, but I'm beginning to miss that uh, quicker acceleration that the shorter gear uh, final drive, not the gear ratio. Now, final drive, I uh, was enjoying when I had that uh, 411 ratio. So I'm putting it back. Okay, I'll keep the other one. The 935. Now, the only the disadvantage I'm going to get now is um, I won't be able to push the car to the maximum vehicle speed anymore. So that's the thing. And also, I would say, which way will you get that? Uh, was to me, I uh, okay. I just want that quick acceleration. Um, um, yeah. That's the thing. So, but then once you start pushing the car very high, if you want the speedometer to get to the other end, you can't be able to achieve it anymore with this one. At least it will no longer be. Um, you just gonna burn the excess fuel. You will be shouting too much for that. So, um, so that is it for this. So I'm putting it back. I'll keep the other one, the 935. See what happens. So okay, back to the video. Uh, so the 407 coupe, um, it has advantage. I mean, okay, let's just talk about the bad road. So for the bad road, um, the the car, I could say, is very very good for maneuvering portals. Trust me, guys. Oh, that was the, the, the best part of the, 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 I mean, the way it was maneuvering. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, there are cars you could, when you do that maneuvering stuff and uh, you, you, you just be, you feel kind of body roll and also you will feel, you know, you'll be going up and down on the seat, you know. But this one, you will feel like the car is making those maneuvers on higher speed as, uh, you know. Trying to avoid portals or high speed, so I will give it a good mark on that. Uh, the only person that has issue is goes. Yeah. Then also, you know, as you are on that speed, there are some cases where there are some portals. No matter what you do, you just have to hit it because uh, we'll be able to. Maybe it's based like the entire uh, line of that particular road, so it cross the road, so you just have to jump. Um, but by the time you see it's already too late or maybe there's a car in front of you and you want to overtake and boom you see it already so um, it's as good as jumping it you know all those stuff so in that case no it's not good for 407 um, I mean at the point my my variable suspension uh, there's also a sensor that is on the lower arms 
both the front two lower arms and then the rear cross member so four of them you know that were monitoring and and the vehicle also uh, uses it to control the headlamp you know as you are turning it will be following if you are turning the steering wheel the headlamp bulb will be following the wheel we are the steering you know the side we are directing the steering to and the rest so it started blinking which shows that something was wrong <laughs> as fair that the suspension so in that case yeah i would say the full seven is not it you know um so um so that is it for four seven so i wouldn't recommend you use it me i knew uh if after this, this trip i'm going to spend money again fixing the suspension which i did uh recently on like days before i went on the on the trip a uh, few a week or two so i was prepared it wasn't that bad but i know quite a number of uh, bushes even shock absorber must have gone based on the kind of noise i was hearing on portals or higher speed so that is it so if i were to recommend which car pojo vehicle uh, that is more suitable if you are traveling from the northern part of nigeria to the eastern part following that enugu route um i think uh, basically how many cars comes to mind uh pojo 406 pojo 307 Pojo 308 and um, Pojo 508. These four, these are four modern vehicles I will recommend that are suitable for this road that I've just talked about. So, um, because of the nation, now don't get like I said, all the way from here to, to by any car can do that. They are the roads are bad though, but um, like I said, where you now start, uh, you know, realize that man, uh, this is not good. Is by the time you get to top part to that, that's that's a mess. Okay, so um now when you come to four oh six and three oh seven, it doesn't necessarily mean all of them can actually serve that people as well. The four oh six, especially the falling uh, productions from the Europe, uh, like mine. Mine is not actually <laughs> that good for that journey because the ground clearance is actually low. It has a lower ground clearance compared to uh, most of the forces you see, especially in Nigeria, uh, or mostly the ones produced here in Nigeria. So those ones have higher ground clearance. So I have the option to shoot it up, but uh, kind of into performance. So um, the other thing I, Bobby, I I'm, not, I'm thinking maybe the front spring of mine might not be the answer because I changed it. But I kind of looked at it uh, recently. Look at the photos I took when I got the car uh, with the these VCs manual springs, and kind of look like it's the same height ground car, but maybe just a little bit lower. So maybe I'll deal with that later. But the point still remains. Yeah, the for my forces based on the condition of the road I drove on around that to to, uh, uh, to Ubola for. Uh, it's still not good for it, but I would say generally four six can serve. Of course, you can increase the height if you want. Three or seven the same. Uh, three or seven, three or uh, three or seven. Okay, let's just leave it at uh, three or seven first. Three or seven. Uh, falling use most of them are also lower. Um, so um, if you may have to do something if it's falling to increase the ground clearance for that sort of road, or you get the Nigerian productions, those ones, if they see as the original as uh, shock absorber springs, they will be have much higher. They'll be sitting up much higher. You understand what I'm saying? The reason why I'm saying this is you need a car that sits much higher because of those goals. Because those goals is it's not like as you are dipping, you see stuff on in between those ways that can be hitting your stuff, can crack your your oil engine oil pan damage your exhaust damage so many things just be hitting so it's not about going like this coming back no it's about the road it's very terrible it's terrible so you need a car that has much higher ground car so it's not about how uh, okay which one will spy more the suspension coming will spy more no i'm talking about which suspension which can which vehicle can be able to drive you know pass through all those things uh, without you damaging anything under your vehicle, hitting any part of your car, the bumper, the rear bumper, the front bumper, the rear bumper, any parts, that's what I mean. Remember, 
um, the one uh, this those gullies because it was much easier for me to maneuver to them because it's dry season. Imagine when it's rainy season. So sitting my coop is very very low. So if I have attempted it, man, <laughs> if any as I'm putting the head water will just gush into the entire engine bay and uh, this is so that's the point. So that's why I was saying my four horses can uh, it's still not the best for it. So, um, the three or eight, three or eight, uh, most of the, I mean, generally I could say they sit up much higher, not necessarily much higher than three or seven, but it's I'll attribute it to the same. So, yeah, you know, most of the three or eight you find will be funny. You so they do sit up higher. Uh, you can see increase the grand card, um, to maneuver those spaces. Uh, then, but the five or eight, the grand cards is okay, you don't need to touch it. 548 actually sits up much higher than 406. That's what people don't know. The Grand Cars is higher than 406. Funny, I say it's funny use. I'm not talking about Nigerian production 406. So 548, the Grand Cars is perfect for that. Barely will hit anything. Um, which other car did I mention? Uh, 508, 308, 307, 406. So these are the best cars. Now, if you must be 407. Let me put it out that way. If you must be 407, um, that you just want a 407 uh, that you need for traveling, especially on that kind of road condition, get a coupe. There's a reason why. Now, uh, my coupe is not here. Remember, I just drove the 505 V6. If I, I, did, if I would have shown you guys, when you look at the front end of the, the coupe, you know, um, it's kind of like this. I don't know how to say it. Um, kind of curved off like this so unlike the saloon and station wagon that you those who own this will tell that the nose is almost on the same level with the 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 entire bottom of the car so anything you are doing you see the bumper scratching hitting the, never never as in throughout the, the matter how all those journeys i did every part of the road that i drove from the front end did not touch anywhere. That's how good they designed the 407 uh, uh, front uh, front end. It's, it, it curved up. So no matter what, it don't even without oil. Though I have a metal protector on that engine, but it didn't even touch anywhere. There was no, no nothing. It didn't even touch. There are bombs on those highways that I mean look like uh, <laughs> uh, the height is almost like a tire of a vehicle. So I was expecting that oh before the car could the front tires could even climb those bumps that was the, the bumper will scratch or hit or even pull out the bumper. Nothing, no sound, didn't touch anything. So 407 coupe is very good for that. So if it must be this thing, then go for the 407 coupe. If it's saloon or station wagon, you are going to hear it. The only time you will not be able to experience it, you will see now you for now. Uh, increase the ground clearance, not best kind of by with tires. You have to tamper the suspect, the shock absorbers. To, uh, you know, that's the way they do it to push it up to go very, very high. That's the only way you might not touch it. I mean, to, I'm not, not racking or quacking or pulling out your, your bumper, your front bumper. That's how bad those roads are. Even not just, if, I mean, I'm not talking about just the bad I'm talking about even the bumps. You know, it's fairly horrible. Uh, uh, people don't even have any brain. I mean, on a highway, uh, it didn't even put any sign that you are putting bombs. This is a highway. This is not like uh, inside city or something. You just put bombs, no sign. I mean, there are about two of them or three of them that uh, that were not there. All those who I was uh, using that road and they not created it. So that you will be driving with intention that uh, that particular road is free, that particular sign. All of a sudden, you are very close to it already. So there are nothing you can do. If you apply brakes so sharply that I can wear you off the road, you know. So you just have to jump in. So all those things that contributed to my suspension, uh, components failed, and the rest started making noise. I could tell if at a point I think one of the shock absorber springs broke. But how I knew it wouldn't broke because it still maintained the same level, and the car could still do all those maneuvering and remain stable. You know, no, that coupe is perfect. I mean, it's, it's sweet for, <laughs> for for high speed maneuvering. It's very, very good. I, I love that car for that. 
So um, that's all I could say. Now, when it comes to the four seven, no, uh, yeah, you could go for coupe. Or uh, if you want a car, you want to maintain the factory grand car. Four seven want to maintain the factory grand car and still do all those trips. Use the four seven coupe. Trust me. The other thing is, yeah, you will not spend in changing when you do at all with those say you have to some bushes will fail, shock as well might fail, uh, uh ball joints might fail. Those are things to do, but for things to be hitting under the car, uh, trust me. As wide as the car is, as sporty as the car is, still Bojo did in such a way that with the factory tire sizes and the factory suspension height, you barely will touch the ground. Trust me, a lot of people will not believe this. All you need is John, go and drive one, drive uh, a factory uh, uh, for saloon, for seven saloon or station wagon that didn't tamper with the suspension. You will you will understand what I'm saying. You know, I don't know what they did on that four seven coupe. So that's the only car I recommend. I've traveled with four seven saloon coupe, uh, no saloon and station wagon. Basically, no, so, so, because even the station wagon is supposed to have a higher grand car than saloon and coupe. But in four seven, they remain the same. Normal, so normally station wagon estate is meant to stay higher. But they didn't do that on the four seven. They made it like a sp sporty or like saloon, you know. So. That's all I'll say. So that's my advice. Um, 548-307-46 and 308. Those are the cars for now and I have in mind. Now why I'm also saying recommending these four cars is their suspension components. If they fail, it won't break your bank. You, you feel, because no matter what you do, even if I travel with my 406, something might still fail. The only difference is I will just be one or two things compared to my first. I have not even <laughs> gone there. I have not even bothered to go and look at, you know, diagnose the suspension to see what is wrong. That's how I know it's not going to be one or two. <laughs> I'm going to spend. I know that for sure. So when I'm ready, I'll deal with it. So that's the reason why. So even if I use it three or seven, three or eight, five or eight, yeah, sure. With the dyno condition, expect things is going to fail. Suspension wise, yeah, they're going to spend money there, but it won't be much. That's my point. They are not that expensive, and um, oh, just they have few the components. The suspension is just uh, kind of simple, it's not like complex like the four seven. So it, you find unless you spend just little uh, out of that. But if you're okay with that, to me honestly, you enjoy uh, uh, four seven. I was you keep saying that coupe. I mean. There are so many dry, crazy drafts I did, which I didn't capture in the video. I intentionally didn't because, <laughs> you know, there are times, of course, I was blasting music and then, but whenever I want to capture the music uh, video, I'll switch off the music or mute it, you know, to avoid, uh, well, you know, all this uh, copyright claim. And uh, even though eventually I still uh, had that issue, you know. So, so that's my advice. So back to my 505. Um, Probably, um, if you are into, if you, if you don't mind, then the, when you come to old school, I would say the 505, 505 is the best car for you to travel to east from Abuja, following Enugu Road. Uh, in fact, right now is my 505 that isn't the best car for it. So who knows, my next journey to the east might be with this car. Um, unless maybe when um, the fa the GL uh, project is completed, who knows when, uh, then it might be the car I'll be using for such journey. Because this my five of five, I want to keep it as cl my classic, you know. So uh, it's not a car I really want to be traveling with. But then it's perfect for it. So who knows, you know? But I love the car. So uh, like I said, I hope this video makes sense for those who might be thinking considering traveling to east you can afford to have more than one car use one for such journeys then at least you know cars you can go for all right